the wild animal which you perceived, which you, John, saw, used to be, it was continuing during a past time, and that was referred to also in Revelation chapter 13, verse 2, and is not, present tense, it does not exist today during the present age, free to move about the earth where mankind lives, and is on the point of, or about to ascend, to come up from where? From the abyss. That place which does not have a bottom to it, very far away, without a measured depth underneath the observed land and sea. We saw that previously in Revelation chapter 9, verses 1 and 2 and 11. Chapter 11, verse 7 and 13, verse 1. So this wild animal used to be and is on the point of ascending out from the abyss. And where does it go? Goes into or for destruction. It's directed into loss with a view to perdition, being utterly lost and ruined away from the only true God. This is also referred to in Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. And the people dwelling down on the earth, or those inhabiting the earth at that time, will be caused to marvel. They will be made to be astonished. They will look on with wonder and amazement while they are observing. Now, this is not referring necessarily only to the people who are physically seeing the wild animal at that time, but to all those who will be looking at it, mentally envisioning it, contemplating it and its activities, no matter what location they may be on the earth at this time. The wild animal that used to be, it was continuing during a past time, that is, from the people's view time, viewpoint, it was reigning as a human being, as the seventh head, for the first three and a half years of this time, and is not. The seventh head was assassinated at this time, looking backwards. Of course, for us today, it's still future. It is not, because that seventh head, a human being, will die, it will be assassinated. We saw that in Revelation chapter 13, verse 3 and 14. And it will present himself. The wild animal will cause himself to be present, to be alongside the people as though it were a resurrected man, that seventh head being raised or healed from death. That's the same one that's referred to in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 9 and Revelation chapter 13 verses 3 and 4. And the name of the wild animal was not written and continues not written down where? In the book of the life. Its name is not written in the book of the life. That book of the life that the Lord Jesus Christ is continuing to update and keeping regarding the living spiritual record of names pertaining to God's true realm. From the foundation of throwing down of the world, that time is the casting down. Um, you may see that word written as the word foundation in many versions of the Bible, such as the King James Version, it really is referring to the throwing down or casting down of the ordered arrangement that God had originally created. That throwing down occurred immediately after God had promised the Christ, and that was in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15 and following. As soon as God promised the Christ, and a few other details that you can read about in Genesis chapter 3, he then made the men, mankind at that time, Adam and Eve, to be expelled from the Garden of Eden. 
So now, during the last three and a half years prior to Christ's return on earth, this wild animal that we're reading about here in chapter 17 of Revelation will continue to look as though it were a human being. It will be promoting itself as a political leader. But in fact, it will be the product of the devil, a product of Satan, taking the place of the human being who will be the seventh head, who will rise to power during the first three and a half years and will be killed. This wild animal will seem to be a resurrected man. But it will be similar to the genetically deformed evil beings which cannot become one of God's people. That already happened and was recorded in Genesis chapter 6 verses 1 to 7. Also, if you look at Jude, chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. We read previously about the abyss. That abyss, which is a place which has um, doesn't have a bottom to it. It's very far away. And the reason it's called that is because it's not observed by present-day mankind. It's the place of destruction which the destroyer, the devil, Satan, is currently able to move and perform his activities. He is not seen by mankind who live today on earth. He is, of course, observed by God in the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the true resurrected man. Now we should also know that this time that the abyss is not referring to death or the point of dying, and it's not referring to the grave or grave dumb. It's also not referring to the lake of fire. In my book that I'm reading from, Revelation of Jesus Christ, Word Study, Word Translation and Study, which is available via my website, truebiblestudy.com, I do include many references and article references that you can look up in your own time. But I'm going to continue in our session uh, reading the main points. I'd like to point out also that the devil, Satan, is currently allowed to go into and out of the abyss along with most of his devil spirits, those demons, the other angels which also rejected God along with the devil. However, some of them are imprisoned there. That was due to their previous activities. Um, you could look at 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 19 and 20, and 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4, and Jude chapter 1, verse 6. Let's continue in verse 9 of chapter 17 of Revelation. John says, and of course it's the angel's words that he is writing down here. Here is the mind, or the mindset, emphatically and specifically, the mind that has wisdom, that has that skill for our expert application of God's personal knowledge, wisdom, what to do is the most appropriate action concerning a given situation or circumstance. In this context, of course, it is regarding the wild animal and the woman. The seven heads are, or in comparison to, they represent seven mountains, mountains referring to high positions, where the woman sits down on them. So this is the location of the woman superimposing herself on these seven heads and they willingly support her as indicated in verse 7 that we looked at. 